So when we're dealing with a field with Phytophthora and we're trying to manage it, even if we have a scenario where we only have scattered plants in the field like we do in this field, uh, we still are losing yield from this disease and we need to take the right action steps to really increase the overall yield in that field. Now if you have a scenario where you just have a small pocket that's being affected or a low-lying wet spot, maybe that's not a time to really, really step up on the management, but if you have a larger area affected, that's when we're going to use uh, some of these key management steps. And what we're looking at with this is using increasing our seed treatment rate specifically for mephanoxum or metal axle components on the seed treatment that we need for phytophthora control. And then the next thing we look at is using the right genetics uh, in addition to those cultural practices that we can do anything we can do to increase drainage, which in many times isn't an option, but if it is, that's something you're going to want to use. And then also to try to minimize compaction because this disease is also going to be favored by compaction. When we're looking specifically at genetics, you've got a couple options that you're going to be looking at. When you're looking at seed books, you're seeing that overall tolerance score for a specific variety. Now that tolerance is going to be rated against all phytophthoras virtually and shows an overall uh, tolerance to that variety being able to yield and not be overcome by the specific pathogen. Now the other component that we see are also resistance genes. And specifically, for example, in this field, we see that we have a variety with an RPS1K gene that's being overcome. So we're seeing occasional dead plants. And when you see that in your fields, that bioassay to indicate that you're having that breakdown in resistance or, as far as that pathogen overcoming that and still causing you yield loss, that's where you need to change and make sure you're using a different resistance gene. Looking at making sure you're taking good records or keeping good records in that field and recording what you use so you can change that resistance gene and maybe go to a different one, a 3A or a, or a 1C for example. So a lot of research has shown that by using a variety with high tolerance and then a resistance gene is the best way to manage Phytophthora on the genetic side. Uh, let that field be your bioassay, if you will, or your test if your resistance that you're using uh, is being effective for a Phytophthora. And if you see those scattered plants or you see more damage in the field, that's a time you need to change that resistance and keep good notes on those fields so you're matching that up to maximize your soybean yield and profits.